Hey guys, I have a new little experiment that I want to introduce you to. What's cool about this one is that you don't have to wait five, six months to see the result. We're going to go test this now. This is a Chadmo extension cord that I just finished. Assuming it works, this could be something that I make and sell. The parts are pretty hard to come by. All the Chadmo plugs are pretty rare still at this point and they're still quite expensive. I lucked out and I found some stuff, so I thought I'd make this little test. Assuming it works, which I don't know, like, <laughs> it's pretty cool, I like when things work. I hope it does, but I'll need help picking out a name for this thing. Let me know in the comments below what you think. In a video that I'm uploading right now, I did an unboxing on the Chatamo plug and cord. I'll include that video right now, and I'm gonna jump in the car and head down to my local charging station. All right, I'm gonna slice this thing open. Pretty crazy to find this. I, I uh, hadn't really been looking too hard, but yeah, this is pretty neat. Holy shit, it's heavy. I bought a Chatamo plug. Holy crap, this thing's freaking heavy. I had this bright idea that I could make a Chatmo extension cable for my road trips, just in case things get messed up and there's somebody blocking the charging station. So I found this guy on eBay and picked it up. Oh, that's nice. And it was brand new. I don't remember why they were selling it. I think they just took apart a machine. Kind of crazy to make this into an extension cable. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot lighter and smaller. But if I gotta lug this thing around, oh man, that's gonna, that's gonna kill my range, lugging this thing around. Anyways, I thought that was pretty neat and I thought I'd show you guys. I haven't seen one of these anywhere else. I'm not gonna say that it's the only one out there, but I found the right parts. I put it together, mainly because I wanted to see if it works. I'm, at this point, you know me, I tinker, and I just wanted to see if it would work. I thought it would also be beneficial to have this for when I'd start doing some more road trips with the T-Rex version two or the one. And I've been here for a while, I'm charging, and it's working. I've connected, disconnected a few times. This charger in particular happens to be pretty finicky. It's, it's not very reliable. And if it's working on this one, I'm pretty confident it's gonna work on pretty much any one of them. There is some heat shrink on it that I haven't heat shrunk yet. <laughs> I just wanted to test it first before I sealed it all up. But I'll flip the camera around so you can check it out. So here it is. I think it's like 13 feet long. I'd have to actually measure it. But it, it'll really help if a spot is iced and I really need to charge. So for this session, I've only been charging for five minutes and 14 seconds. But you can see some of the data there. This charger, again, isn't very good. It's pretty slow. I did the math a while ago and it was like 13 kilowatts. I didn't check just now, but you guys could probably do that pretty quickly. This plug and cord is rated up to 125 amps, so it'll easily be able to handle pretty much any Chadmo charger that I'll be able to find. And you can see it just coils down and goes to this plug. And on this plug, I just have a female side Chadmo plug, and it's going right into there. One thing I did notice is that it faulted once if I plugged into the car first and then plugged this in. It only happened once, not really sure why. Every other time has been fine. Again, it's probably the charger. It's not the greatest, but I'm really glad to see that it's, it's working. So I guess tonight I'll go home and uh, heat shrink that. And I might even throw this thing on eBay and see what people want to pay for it. It unfortunately <laughs> was not cheap. I spent quite a bit of money on it, so I think I'll post it up for uh, 1100 bucks and see what happens. I don't know. But yeah, these plugs are really, really hard to come by. 
And if you saw my video that I'm currently uploading, you'll see that it used to have a really heavy sleeve all the way around it. And I took that sleeve off and it significantly reduced the weight. So this thing, I'll have to weigh it, but it's probably 20 pounds, something like that. It's much better without those really, really thick cables and they're not needed. I know they're put on there for protection, but that's also for a regular public use where they have to really protect the cables from from idiots, <laughs> pretty much. And in this case, you know what you're doing if you're using this thing. You're gonna take care of it. It's gonna see a lot less use if one person owns this. Uh, but anyways, it's working. Really happy to see that. I'll heat shrink that, and I guess I'll uh, just pack it up and, and head home. Love to see successful tests. Really love when things work. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one.